Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Alfine. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the ad on top of the video to watch a previous episode to get caught up. Alright, let's load our game up. And we got Bridget on our team forever. Awesome! Alright, it's late winter now. Don't know what that means, but... Food prices are very high still, so we can't do anything about that. So let's go to the church and find out... Actually, I don't think we should go to the church yet. I think we should go to... Hmm... Where's the market? Let's buy some stuff. That's not food. Hmm... Ooh, cross mail! I don't think we have any cross mail, right? Yeah, we don't have any. Let's just buy like five. Actually, no. Let's let's buy like four. Any merch? Any new stuff? Hmm. Buy some quality saucepans, I guess. Let's see, fifteen. So that's two. Yeah, I can buy eight of these. Eight of these. All right. I think that's good for now. Let's uh, sell some stuff at our find for now because that's all we can do. Ooh, we got we got a sword. So let's oh we got not available. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's uh sacred bringer. Oh yeah, we are like we're not selling that stuff yet. Cross mail. All right, so that cross mail. I'm gonna save one. See if anybody can wear it. Okay, so that's, uh... Alright, so that's good. Let's put... Sword there. Another sword there. I want to put this rock up front, alright? So, someone better freaking buy this rock, okay? I, someone better buy a rock. Actually, no, I don't want to put the rock there. Put the rock here. Let's put it back where we just took it from. Perfect. I mean, a hundred dollars. I mean, that's a that's a fair price for a for a rock, right? That's twenty eight hundred, eight fifty. All right, good. I don't want to sell the most expensive thing. And let's uh, where's the quality saucepan? Perfect. All right, let's uh, put this stuff saucepan here. The saucepan here. Perfect. I think we are all set for now. Ah, let's 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 get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's put a um, grateful amulet here. Perfect. All right, we get. We let's sell some stuff. Woo! Someone buy the rock. Someone about the rock. Yeah, someone about the rock. Okay, we got... Someone's gonna buy the armor? Aww. Dang it, no one bought the armor. I'm sad, no one bought the armor. Well, we got A rank. Alright, that, that's good enough for me. Okay, let's, let's go out. I forgot it was S. Uh, I hope... Hope we learn more about the... Oh, uh, really do hope. Learn about... Luminous. Dang it! You never have anything... I'm I'm upset. I'm upset about you! Okay, well here you go. Paid to you. Hmm. Alright, so let's go to the church now. Yeah, thank you, Chloe. Okay, no pre premonitions. No premonitions. Ooh, all sunny. Good time to buy lots of food and sell it. Well, not food, but like, you know, a lot of good stuff to sell. Let's go to the... Yeah, let's go to the market. Oh, we're gonna buy lots of marbled beef. We're gonna buy... Hmm. Buy marbled beef. Okay, so it's 20, so that's... Let's get 12. Uh, let's buy some star candy. That's 10, so we get 8. 
Well, 16. We're gonna do 16. Okay, equipment. Everyone likes the the Shion for some reason, so let's buy like four, three of these. Um, everyone likes the Great Boy Amulet, so that's good. So that's two, four, that's about 12. Hmm, quality saucepan. That's by four. All right, good. Maybe lucky cat. Maybe people like the lucky cat. By eight. Uh, equipment. Ruby mace. I think ruby mace might be good. It's fifteen, so four. All right. Exit this. Let's go. Talk to her, Town Square. So what business have you called me out here for, Rosette? Now, now, no need to be so defensive, Alice. I just wanted to have a chat with you. Uh-huh, okay. Oh, here's some juice. Don't be shy. Go ahead and drink it. Uh-huh, it's not nothing fishy at all, right? No. It's a bit strange that you're sucking up to me like this. Oh, this is pretty good. Hee hee, that's good. Now, come on. I'd love if you drank it all down. Yeah, Sunday's not right here. You you want something to drink it all down. Alright, you don't need to hurry me. I'll drink it. Mmm, that was good. Thanks. So is that the end of matters? I'll be going then. Oh, no, I haven't said anything yet. What? Wasn't your business to give me this juice? That wasn't it at all. Rather, that was just bait. I mean, just proof of how much I care. Bait. Huh. Hold on, Rosetta. I feel like I heard you say something pretty devious just now. You're just imagining things. You have no reason to worry. Right. Let's move to the main topic. I'd like to have your help with the matter regarding Master. No, no, no. You're forcing this conversation along. And I don't care one bit about anything between you and Serge. The juice you just drank is Master's favorite. Oh, really? It was pretty good, so I can understand him liking it. But what does that have to do with the... Master cherishingly placed that in the refrigerator. His name is also written in small print on the label. Done the label for this juice, too. Surge. If I was to tell him I drank it, I'm sure he would forgive me. But if someone other than me went and drank it... R Rosette, you tricked me! Hey, 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 Rosette gave that to Alice. Okay, that, that, was, that was her fault there. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you don't listen to what I have to say, I feel like the fact you drank it might slip out of my mouth. Okay, got it. Let's hear it. Hee <laughs> hee. How wonderful. You're quite kind, Alice. My worst blunder ever. How could I have been duped by Rosette? So what's up with Serge? Right. There's a matter I must confide in you with. Master, he may be ill. Hmm. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I'm seriously worried. Yeah, well, I can understand your word, that's how you are. But what do you mean, might be sick? Oh, because, have a look at this. Oh, a beat-up old human medical encyclopedia? What about it? It was on clearance and still seemed readable, so I bought it. But that's not the point, take a look at this page. Um, kind of hard to read this, the words are worn in places. Those who contract this disease like wearing dark clothing and capes. <laughs> what does that mean? This, <laughs> the, the, like... So, so someone who has a dis this disease likes wearing dark clothing and capes. Are you talking about vampirism? The other, the other unsettling words such as eradicate and decimate ca callously. Oh, hmm. Okay. They become fond of solitude and abstain from forming connections with others. That's pretty much Sarge. You think so as well? As be it, the symptoms fit too perfectly. Um, the name of the illness is on the previous page, hmm? Exactly, the page with the name of the illness and remedy is missing. Does that mean there's nothing you can do? Exactly, so I have no clue what to do about this and come to confide in you. Why don't you find a better encyclopedia and then find out what it is? I see, but Rosette, why me? You need to talk to someone, but don't you think Lou or Fifi might know more? That I cannot do. This is written on the following page. After being cured, there is still a risk of severe psychological stress depending on how many people knew of them having contracted the illness. 
an experimentation, it was found that simply questioning subjects about their experience five years after recovery caused them to hide under the covers and ride in agony for 10 minutes. Seriously, that's really scary. Yes, I want as few people to know as possible. Though since you seem to have few friends, I said you would be the least likely to leak information. <laughs> oh. It's none of your business how many friends I have. So it's hard to believe Sergio has such a horrible sickness. I can't believe it myself. I'm so very, very worried. I think I may cry. It's okay, Rose. Get a hold of yourself. Hey, why not try searching for another copy of this book? Then you'll be able to see the missing page. That's what the... Oh, oh. I have looked, but I can't find the same book anywhere not to lose. It doesn't have to be the same book. Um, how about looking at the symptoms in other books? Maybe then you'll find the cure. I've researched a lot already, but for some reason there is no other medical book that lists the same kind of symptoms. It must be an extremely precious book written by a very wise and famous author. And this, the last copy of it. So no matter how hard I look, I... Well, master, you can't die. Whoa, you shouldn't let this make you cry, Rosette. But, but masters... Surge will be just fine. Probably. You said probably, you don't think you can be saved either. Wah! Sheesh, come on, Rosette. First, let's try your eyes. You're making it look like I made you cry. And then Surge is gonna come out of nowhere and then, and, and just be like, Rosette's crying. Oh. Oh. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh. You made Rosette cry, Alice. See? See? I knew it. I knew he was going to come out of nowhere and, and, you know, blame Alice for it. See, Rosette, just like that. Someone might get the wrong idea. Are you satisfied with those being your last words? Then I'll set this magic lance as a bouquet on your grave. Hold on there, Serge. You got this wrong. Rosette, just calm down. Stop crying. Explain this to Serge, please. <laughs> Hmm, I see. I more or less grasped what transpired here. However, Rosette, where did you get this book? Why do you look so scared? Ah, a small bookstore is near the church. An old man sold it to me. I see. Rosette, remove the jacket from that book. Jacket? What could re removing that accomplish? Wrong, Rosette. Hmm, there's something written on the back. Huh? My master, what is the meaning of the back cover saying everything in this book is a joke? Yuck, yuck. Huh. So she got duped? Bye. <laughs> she got duped because she didn't take the cover off of the book. Exactly as it seems. That old man has been penning such lie filled compilations for a long time. So that means everything written in this book. Oh, fake. It's nonsense that an illness not found in regular medical books would only be in a worn-out book like that. <laughs> you look so scary and worried, uh, like, you know, with that worried face. Did that mess? You won't die? Of course not. I couldn't die and leave you by yourself. My master. There, there. You have my apology, Alice, for the trouble Rosette caused you. <laughs> it's just fine. I'm glad there's nothing wrong with you after all, and the juice was yummy. Oh, well, Alice. Uh-oh. Juice. Oops. That bottle you were carrying did catch my eye, but I let it go as I wasn't certain that it was mine. Let me check. Can you show me that label, Alice? Uh, wait. This is... Yeah, Rosette. Rosette can explain everything. Uh, my, my... Z I'm gonna sleep away peacefully in Serge's arms. Ah, I now know from that reaction it seems it really was mine. Alice slumber in eternal darkness. This is unfair! And so the chase went on until Rosette woke and explained that things to Surge. Ah. Now then, it's about time to open up. Let's work hard until the very end. My stamina has no limit, so that's just fine. How about we go out running right now? Uh, I already know you have incredible stamina, Bridget. I had to pass. I, I see. That's a shame. Lewis? After I mentioned running, I actually feel like going for a run. What should I do? Uh, uh, how about stepping out for some fresh air? That might calm you down a bit. You know, go for a run. I got it. I'll be back in a bit. Whoa, um, who would you be? I'm Rosette, though I feel like we've met before. Hmm, would you treat customers this way too? Is Lewis around? Oh, I see Lewis customers for you. He's saying we're not customers. Welcome, Serge. Want to buy something at Alfine? 
No, I haven't come to buy anything. I've heard a bad rumor about not to lose lately. <gasps> a bad rumor? Wait. Wait, so is the whole thing with uh, Alice, you know, okay now? I'm here to do a little information exchange regarding it. Don't tell me, do you know the rumor already? Um, I'm sorry, I probably don't know. I see, what about the owner of Ornate Brand? Me? Of course I know. What? Why didn't you tell me about it? Because I believe acquiring information like this is a given for a shop owner. Um, can you tell me about the rumor is about? Simple, certain stores perpetrating illicit actions. You mean Luminous? Huh? But if it's just a rumor, it's not necessarily proven to be true, right? You better explain. I believe you need to understand that rumor more fully. Are you aware of that unknown store which has suddenly climbed in the merchant rankings? Yes? What about him? Oh yeah, we saw that when we went with Hina, so I remember us talking about it. In short, the store known as Luminous is being suspected of foul play. What? And that means... Correct, it seems my intuition was right. Truly a scandal like this taking place in the merchant world sullies the good name of not to lose. Just hold on a minute. I know I'm repeating myself, but you're talking about this like it's not a rumor, but a certainty that you're che that they're cheating. In truth, it's just as you say, it's being considered a rumor for now, yet I can nearly guarantee they are doing something illicit. However, since Luminous has yet to show its true colors, there's a lack of decisive evidence, preventing it from being any more than a rumor. But it's hard for me to believe they would be doing that, honestly. Lewis, are you here, Lewis? Huh? C Celine, what's the hurry? Uh, um, oh, Milky Pod, it's... It's okay, Celine, can you calm down? Nobody's rushing you here. Oh, yes, sorry, I'm a bit scatterbrained. But seeing how panicked you are, something must have happened, right? Yes, it was my own error, my, but Milky Pod has become a subsidiary of Luminous. Huh? Wait, what? Celine, could, can you explain that further? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused here. Yes, it all started when the owner of Luminous, Eric, came to Milky Pod. Eric! Knew it! I knew it was the, the guy that came in here. Huh? Eric, could that be? Yes, it's likely the same man. But for now, we must prioritize hearing out the situation. Owner of Milky Pod, I apologize for interrupting. Please continue. Right, this was likely Eric's aim from the start, but after introducing himself and his store, he made a business proposition. Uh-huh. Oh. It's quite simple. I would like you to compete with my shop, Luminous, in a commerce battle. Compete? Do you just wish to test your abilities? Not at all. This competition will provide benefits for both parties, should they be victorious. Let's see, if I am to win, then Milky Pod will become a subsidiary of Luminous. And if you win, Miss Celine, Luminous will offer you all of its current funds. How does that sound to you? I understand the bit about Milky Pod becoming a subsidiary. Now I'm clear on what you mean by all of its funds. I'd like to inquire further. Oh, simply, I'll hand over all the personal wealth I have. I will have no stipulations nor qualms on how it is used. Of course, you're free to include it all in your profits. Doing so, you may even surpass Ornate Brand in the rankings. I wouldn't be able to compete with Ornate Brand with the funds of an unknown store like yours. And I have no intention of touching such dirty money. I take it you're calling off this commerce battle. No, the commerce battle itself, I gladly accept. So long as you promise that if I win, you will leave not to lose. Ah, I see. I will accept. I look forward to seeing the results of this battle. As a temporary rival, you have my best regards. Well, you won't have mine. I'll defeat you and, you had, and have you leave this island at once. Oh. Eric just accepted with a composed look and left. I simply couldn't forgive such arrogance as such a merchant was on this island. But if Milky Pod did become a subsidiary, that means you lost the Luminous, right? When I accepted the challenge, I had no doubt in mind that Milky Pod would be victorious. Since I haven't heard ever seen the store Luminous in the rankings, nor even heard its name before. But when the rankings came out, Luminous had suddenly rocketed to the top with Milky Pod's name underneath. I was astounded, but as I, as I was a shop owner, I could not take go back on my word. Which means the time Lewis and I checked out the rankings was the first time Luminous was at the top. So that's a story. It certainly does seem that Eric is employing underhanded tactics. 
It seems so. Celine, when you became a subsidiary, did you sign the paperwork at the Merchant Guild? Uh, Eric had brought the documents to Milky Pot, thus I signed them there. Well, that's your big mistake there, Celine. Big, 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 big mistake. Sign at Milky Pot? Unless there are extreme circumstances, paperwork should be done at the Merchant Guild. Something isn't right. Did you read the fine print, Celine? So, did, did, you, did you read the fine print? Either way, it's a fact that Milky Pot is now its subsidiary, even if his victory may have been with dirty money. This Eric, though, what a detestable fellow. Saying such things behind my back, how terrible. Hmm. Ah. Oh, and how did you get in here? I'm sure I saw Lewis lock the front door earlier. Hmm. Oh, it was nothing. My hobby simply made me somewhat skilled at poking around in keyholes. So you pick locks, huh? Right, okay. Hmm. That's quite a troublesome hobby you have there. However, I'll find it busy at the moment, so I will have to ask unaffiliated parties to take their leave. I don't want you getting close to Lewis either. Oh, sorry. Lewis either. I feel something nasty coming from you. My goodness, why the vicious talk looks. I simply came today to talk business. Or would Alfine be the kind of stuff that threatens people who simply come to talk business? It may not be a lie you came to talk business, but you're lying. I don't believe that's your only aim here. Besides, we're in the middle of important conversations. So I'd rather you not interfere. Important conversation, you say? Would it be more important than me telling you a way you could reclaim Milky Prod? What foolishness coming from the very man who took it? We've no time to listen to your cruel jokes. Hold on, Tsubami. Can you tell me more about that? L Lewis, do you intend to take the bait from someone like this? I don't know what he has in mind. I don't think there's any harm in hearing what he has to say. And if we can get Milky Pod back, that would be a dream come true, both for me and Celine. Hmm, very well then. I will not allow you to come any closer, but I shall allow these negotiations to proceed. However, be aware my duty is to secure the safety of my employer and those who work with them. Very well, then I shall play my hand. Ah. Now, Lewis, to get to the core of the matter, would you care to have a commerce battle? Uh. If you defeat Luminous in a five-day commerce battle, then I will dissolve the contract I have with Milky Prod. However, if Alfine loses, then it will become a subsidiary and I'll have you sign the same contract as Milky Prod. That is all the business I wish to discuss. How about it? Do you accept or refuse? I accept, of course. Lewis, is it okay to accept this so easily? This is your mother and father shop, isn't it? I think you may want to think a bit more. Why do you have the same sentiment as the lady here? You don't tend to take back what you've said, do you? It's fine. I'll win. Ah, I see. I look forward to it. Well then, please do all you can. Ah, there's something I forgot to tell you, Miss Celine. If you intentionally decrease your profits during the battle and attempt to help out fine win, I intend to ruin Milky Pie before it's gone from my control. So please don't get any funny ideas, yes. I have no qualms with ruining it, but cleanup is quite a hassle. Yeah, yes. Whoops, and one more thing. As you are well aware, this store of mine, Luminous, has gained rapid success. That comes from the other stores I have absorbed. And if you pull all the profits from Luminous, those stores are now Milky Pod. It far exceeds the profits of Ornit Brand and Alfine combined, so please consider from the beginning that I have already won. Impossible. No matter how much you grew in such a short period, you shouldn't be able to perform such a stunt. Heh, <laughs> quite foolish individual you are, Serge. You appear to be under the mistaken impression that Luminous quickly rose in the rankings, but you see it's not as if that happened in a short time. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, Luminous already had as much capacity as Ornit Brand before it was even put on the rankings. Well, I've no reason to explain myself further. I shall look forward to seeing the results of this battle. Now then, allow me to excuse myself. Oh, and I hope you can offer me some enjoyment.
Uh-oh. Lewis, I think you may have been a bit reckless this time. Yeah, but I thought this was the fastest way to get back Milky Pod, so I just couldn't refuse. Besides, a proper merchant like me should never lose to someone doing such unfair business. That's how I feel. If you do lose, won't you be losing everything important to you now? It's okay, I won't lose. Hee <laughs> hee, it's astonishing how assertive you are. Because I'm not alone. From as soon as I began, you've all supported me in getting this far. So once again, I'll win with everyone. For everyone. Honestly, hearing that, I suppose we have to give it our all. Goodbye, we need to start adjusting the situation so that our find can face up to Luminous. Adjust the situation? I was thinking of methods to improve profits myself. When someone's doing bad stuff, you don't need to fight head on. We'll strip away the profits they're earning unfairly. So if possible, I'd like Serge to help with that. Would you mind? I see. Yes, there's no need to face an opponent on their terms when they allow you at a disadvantage. Allow me to accompany you as insurance. Thank you very much. So anyways, Lewis, all you need to worry about is earning profits. Yeah, I won't disappoint you. Um, Lewis, I'm terribly sorry to come to this. You might have provided this opportunity for me, but ultimately I'm only doing what I want to do. Also, it's the least I can do to repay you for all the help you've given us so far. Uh, I'm very grateful. Due to my position, I must continue to make profits at Milky Pod, but I shall do what I can to assist when I have the time. Will that be okay? Well, I was told to keep my... Keep to my usual profits, I wasn't told I was restricted from assisting out fine. Okay, thanks. Well then, everyone, please lend me your strength so we can take down Luminous. Of course, a money grab grubber like him could never beat our Al Fine. It feels a bit off for Alice to speak of money grubbers. Nevertheless, I shall do all I can to help out. If Rosette shall be assisting, then of course I will also lend all the assistance I can. Those are reassuring words, but you've no need to worry. As long as I'm with Al Fine, the word lost will never be in its vocabulary. You know, it's certainly run off of left to herself. That will tighten the reins while guarding you. And I'll do my best to be a guard for Lewis too, but you have to take my reins, Lewis. I'll stay near Lewis too, uh, and try harder than usual for Celine. Each and every one of them expressed their conviction for the battle against Luminous. This pleased Lewis, and it also made him aware that he couldn't lose this battle, and so he continued to prepare. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy moly. The commerce battle with B. Ooh, that Eric. Ooh. So anyways, we will see how we're going to do against Eric in this commerce battle in the next episode of Al Fine. Woo. This guy's one, one sneaky, sneaky guy. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Alpine, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!